I'm Jill Brown here in the Weather Channel Forecast Center, and it's winter storm time again as the snow is accumulating quickly. And we found reports of up to eight inches now, I believe, in Baltimore, and they now have a new snowfall record for the season. And we're going to see more of that, we think. Here's our storm right along the coastline. This area of low pressure is expected to continue tracking off to the northeast in the next about 24 hours. It really won't take long. By about this time tomorrow, the only snow that will be accumulating is likely to be up into New England, and after that, out it goes and things will be fairly quiet. And we do have reports of heavy snow. We also have reports of freezing rain. And in Boston, we have our own Bill Keneally standing by. And Bill, you look mighty cold out there. The snow has really been picking up, and it looks like the winds as well. They sure are, Jill. I'm trying to lean into the wind right now just to uh, deflect it a little bit. But right now, the roadways have gotten very snow-covered in a big hurry out here. We're near whiteout conditions. Visibility probably down about a quarter mile right now. And across the area, we've had major reports of a lot of accidents all over. Some of the more dubious roadways, even on a good day, actually, Route 128 uh, up right, uh, by Beverly, reports of a pretty serious accident. Also, many accidents in the Lexington area northwest of us. Also, a report of a bad accident out on Route 2 in the Acton area. A jackknife tractor trailer evidently has caught fire south of town where it's been snowing longer. We've had reports of some serious accidents down on the Southeast Expressway. You can see the emergency vehicles coming by right now, hopefully not heading towards an accident. They are heading up towards the Tobin Bridge up on Route 1 northbound. But again, south of town, serious accidents down around Quincy and also down towards Duxbury. Situation has gotten very bad here in a big hurry. Snow has only been falling for two hours' time. We've already had about an inch. Well, Bill, it definitely looks much, much different than when we checked with you last time. We could see downtown Boston a little bit earlier, but that's not the case any longer. The visibility is down and the snow is increasing. Uh, how do you think things are going to be looking for the evening rush hour? Not looking good at all, Jill. Inbound traffic on Interstate 93, a very major artery heading southbound into Boston, just about stopped right now. And I pity a lot of folks, I'm sure a lot of folks are trying to get out to Logan Airport. They've got to come down 93 and then head left and go through one of the tunnels and head over towards the airport itself. And right now, that is virtual gridlock heading southbound. Oddly enough, outbound on I-93 is not too bad right now. This roadway right here, by the way, is the uh, bridge connecting up Charlestown and the city of Boston. This is not too bad off, although we did see our first snowplow come through during the past hour, so I'm sure roadways in the immediate area are deteriorating in a big hurry. Okay, Bill, it doesn't look pretty out there. Uh, we'll be checking back with you in a half hour. Okay. Chances are things are going to get worse in the Boston area, and many other cities are in the same situation. From D.C., uh, where they have up to seven inches of snow reported at Dulles, to Philadelphia, where we've had heavy snow as well. As a matter of fact, that's our next stop in Philadelphia. Look at this. Snow came down this morning, seen on Highway 202 feeding into the city from the west side. It uh, wasn't pretty, as drivers had a hard time, but then if you were in the city and didn't have to do any driving, it was uh, a good day for a little snowball fight, a little horsing around in the park. So uh, take your pick. Stay off the roadways if you can. And that's what they were saying even down into the coastline. And what we're likely to see in the next, oh, 12 to 24 hours is that low working slowly up the coast. And as it does so, we'll see more and more snow. Now up here in southern New England, I want to show you this again because we were looking at this little burst where you can see right about through this area, a little uh, area of clouds that came up right towards the Cape and the snow has gotten heavier there. And we will see that heavier band of snow otherwise uh, more likely to be inland, and we have had the heaviest snow overall reported from central Maryland uh, down to central Virginia. But that will be expanding up the coastline, and the latest radar will show us where you see the dark green here. You can pick it up, just a, a thin band, really. That's where our heaviest snow is at this time, and it's increasing very quickly. And as you can see from Bill and Boston, uh, things really have gone downhill in a hurry, and that snow uh, will continue to pile up. And we could be talking about more than a half foot before this one moves out. Won't be quite as heavy though down here to the south. Places like Columbia and Atlanta have had their uh, light snow, and uh, actually a little sun peeking through the clouds now. So while we may have a few more flurries, it doesn't look like conditions down south will be too bad. However, we have to warn you about one thing. Notice the temperature here. It's below freezing in our area. All the snow is back through the Appalachians and up the mid-Atlantic coast to Boston now where it is snowing heavy. And Bill, hang in there. I feel bad for you, buddy. Uh, you take a look at what's going on in the west. We do have some showers around Portland, down in through northern portions of California. And more is on the way, as Jill hinted. With the ridge breaking down in the west, that means... Local forecast. Accurate, up-to-date weather information for your neighborhood. Only on the Weather Channel.